This is the place where FTJ University was supposed to be constructed. The university was supposed to be constructed within nine months in 2014, but there is nothing to show to date. What can only be seen around the site is grass. The Rapala Chamber of Commerce and Industry recalls the pronouncement made by the previous regime when it released the 33 million US dollars towards the construction of the university. Emmanuel Monsanje is the president of the chamber. There was even uh, a time frame that was given. I remember it was somewhere in the first quarter of a particular year that would actually begin. And I remember one time when that time we had government bank, I found the Chinese with the, the drawings of FTJ. I found them at government bank and then we were saying, okay, at long last, we have a university in Wapola. But alas, there is grass up to now. So I think the right thing should be done. We need the university. I think we are cheated. We feel cheated as the people of Lopla. We feel cheated. Because this is why when you look at, um, in terms of literacy levels, we are at the bottom. But if we had that institution, I think our people could be going nearer where there is a university there. And Care for Nature Zambia Executive Director Nsama Musondakins has appealed to the New Dawn administration not to relent in establishing who squandered the money meant for the only university in the province. Mrs. Kins also says the UPND government should construct the FTJ University in order for free education policy to have an impact to every child. For example, here in Wapula province, it's been about nine years since we heard the story of uh, Frederick Chuluba University. University. And up to now, when you visit the site, it is just grass growing. We don't know when this university will be constructed. And uh, it brings sadness because when you see what is happening now, uh, CDF has been increased, meaning there are going to be bursaries. If we can have our own university, an university which would take into consideration the needs of the people of Luapla province. So we would like to appeal to the government that as they are looking at infrastructure development, they also consider constructing the Frederick Chuluba University. The Anti-Corruption Commission ACC on Wednesday announced the arrest of former secretary to the Treasury, Fredson Yamba. Mr. Yamba 62 has been arrested for alleged corrupt practices involving 33 million U.S. dollars. The former senior civil servant has been charged with one count of willful failure to comply with the applicable law and procedure relating to procurement contrary to Section 342B of the Anti-Corruption Act No. 3 of 2012. In 2018, Mr. Yamba is alleged to have authorized an advance payment of 33 million 750 thousand US dollars to China Engineering Group Human Electric Power Design Institute Company Limited for the construction of FTJ Chiluba University in Mansa and Kasama under the Ministry of Higher Education. Though money was paid to the contractor, no work has been done to date. Prime TV has visited the site for FTJ University and what was found are small structures which have been even vandalized by thieves. The question which begs answers is, where is the man? Reporting for Prime TV News, I'm Jubilee Malambo in Mansa, Luapara Province.